10 Perverts Who Changed the World The history of our world is full of great figures, heroes who over time became legends and now occupy a place greater than human. They have become symbols of greater aspirations or qualities that we all want to create. However, sometimes it's important to remember that these men are just men. Men aren't perfect and everyone has their flaws and quirks. In this video, you can see the strange and twisted characteristics of the 10 most influential people in history. Welcome to story time. Number 10, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is actually the most common name when it comes to modern scientific geniuses. If you want to insult someone, call him Hitler. If you want to make it clear that someone is a genius, even sarcastically quote the name of Einstein. His famous theory of relativity and endless references, although many popular ones are made up or taken out of context, have made him a symbol of wisdom around the world. But while many may respect his ingenuity, he is still a man, and no man is perfect. For Einstein, his weaknesses were his sexuality and his inability to be faithful or enjoy a normal relationship with another human being. In 1903, Einstein married a woman named Myla and had a child with her, but after a couple of years of marriage, he really felt tired of the loyalty and left to start an affair with the woman. His choice was especially strange. His cousin Elsa Einstein, who was divorced and already had two children with her ex-husband. As if that wasn't weird enough, he continued his affair, even after his wife found out, and even wrote about how annoying his wife was to him, calling her an employee he couldn't fire. Although most people find his character to be quite pure, he is not a very nice person, or a devoted lover, and his obsession with his cousin is a bit strange. Number 9. George H. W. Bush George H. W. Bush, not to be confused with his son and former president George W. Bush or his other son, failed presidential candidate and former Governor Jeb Bush is really starting to show his old age. Not long ago, his speaking career seemed to have legs, but over time it has shrunk and he is now in a wheelchair. His public profile declined rapidly as his health declined, but he still appeared at events from time to time and tried to defuse the situation in his own unique way. Unfortunately, H.W. and the women he dates relate to how he belittles, apparently, grabbing female bums, posing for pictures with them, even joking that he's called David the policeman. The Me Too movement now has many women complaining about the former president's behavior, one of whom was 16 years old. The former president's response was basically to apologize through his representative and say he meant it. It was an innocent joke. Number 8. James Joyce James Joyce was a literary giant known for Ulysses and one of the most famous authors. Even though you may have read a book, or two of his at school, you still know that he wrote a lot. As a classic writer, many may be surprised to learn how dirty James Joyce's mind really was, given what most would consider quite delicate today. A series of romantic letters between him and his future wife were eventually preserved for posterity. Her role has long been lost, perhaps out of respect for not being a celebrity herself. In any case, his letter alone is enough to make you wonder how they got along. As it turns out, James Joyce was obsessed with farting. In many exchanges, he commented on how much he enjoyed her fart and how much he wanted her to get on his face so he could fully appreciate the scent. In more than one letter, he talked about how he had tied her during sex and how he found it attractive. While it's a harmless fetish and not as weird as some others, it's still not what you'd expect from a decent classic writer. Number 7. Alfred Kinsey Alfred Kinsey's research into male and female sexuality was groundbreaking in the mid-20th century and gave us a pillar of knowledge on the subject that is still used today. For this reason, many at the time believed that he was doing something completely unethical as they believed that his research normalized certain sexual practices that they found abhorrent. Because he spent so much time researching and writing about such a controversial topic, he's been at least partially blamed by one group 
or another for almost every sexual act that no one likes. He argued, among other things, for Roe v. Wade, increased sex education, normalization of homosexuality, greater use and acceptance of pornography, and looser laws for sex offenders. Depending on who you ask, not all of these things are bad. Of course, Kinsey himself was a real pervert, but that didn't detract from the real research he did or the results he got. In fact, it's not surprising that a man who has spent his life studying sex has some interesting fetishes of his own. Alfred Kinsey allegedly had an affair with a man, filmed strange sex scenes in his home, and, among other things, tried to stimulate the urethra. He was also alleged to have encouraged his staff to talk to their partners about open marriages, although it was unclear whether he meant to include himself or whether he simply wanted them to be more sexually free. Number 6. Mahatma Gandhi Gandhi was one of those personalities who were almost elevated to the status of a saint. Unfortunately, he doesn't always deserve all the praise. Although his quiet words were a good thing in life, and he did a lot of good things, many of his actions and his personal demons, if the kind of sharing we're sharing now existed when he was him, will make him a pariah. Steps to bring about change in India Apart from non-violence and poverty, one of the things Gandhi preached was sexual virginity. He even claims that staying hydrated will make you stronger and more energetic over time. However, he also believes that these claims of chastity need to be regularly tested, as many researchers believe that this is just a hidden way for him to continue to find ways to satisfy himself while feeling spiritual. You see, Gandhi liked to sleep among naked young women, often naked, or himself. He didn't have sex with them, but in some of his writings he talks about forced discharge, and it's very touching because it says they sleep side by side. It's hard to believe that sex didn't happen and that he really tried to stay chaste. Some believe that he may have used his religious status to satisfy himself by practicing chastity. Of course, it is impossible to know what was going on in his head. Number 5. Amadeus Mozart Amadeus Mozart is arguably one of the two two most famous composers in European history, influencing countless musical artists over the centuries. For generations, his music has been the most raw and suitable for the concert hall, and people love to play his music just to show their grace or feel it for a while. But for those who have seen the movie Amadeus, you can probably imagine what to expect. In Amadeus, we see that Mozart can be a little ugly, a little wild, and sometimes vulgar. While much of the film is fictional, or at least wildly inaccurate, the portrayal of Mozart may be more accurate than you might think. You see, Germany always seems to have a strange pot feeling compared to other countries that go back to Mozart. There are letters he kept while growing up, letters to his mother saying goodnight to her, writing cute poems about wetting the bed. He also wrote naughty letters to his cousin, well, about poop, and even wrote a song about it. One of the lyrics basically means lick my ass. However, it is important to note that there is no indication of incest here. While he may have a fetish, he seems to find it very funny. If nothing else, he's a very perverted joker. Number 4. Benjamin Franklin Benjamin Franklin is known for inventing so many things. He is even credited with discovering things he didn't do. He was a founding father, possibly a high-ranking Freemason, an influential diplomat who helped bring the French over to the American side during the Revolutionary War, an inventor, a multi-talented writer, the most cunning, crafty, and rebellious of all time. People walk the earth in society and are also perverts with some very strange beliefs. When he got up in the morning, he liked to take off his clothes and sit with the window open for about 30 minutes where his growing body was placed. He thought it was good for his health, although many today may wonder if it was a form of exhibitionism. He called the procedure an air bath. Number 3. Sigmund Freud Sigmund Freud is the man you'd probably expect to see here, as he is not only known by many as the father of psychoanalysis, but has recently been referred to as the one who knows all about sex. The Mad Theory Man In recent years, Freud's theory has not only made him a laughing stock, but he has never really been respected for his wild views. Although his work was groundbreaking in psychoanalysis, much of his research is simply not 
not applicable today when he was going through a period of even greater disrepute. At one point he hung his hat on something called the seduction theory, arguing that most of his patients' problems stem from traumatic experiences they had as very young children. In later years, when they realized he might be wrong, his patients suggested with his help that these memories existed. We now know that childhood memories are simply not properly formed in such a way that they can later be repressed and remembered. That's just not how memory works. However, this and his many crazy theories about children and sex are not his only strange obsessions. One of his beliefs is that you need to be aware of any sexuality between psychoanalyst and patient and he'll have them discuss things like masturbation fantasies or dreams. Most of his patients are young women at some point. At times, he had the idea of meeting his own lesbian daughter, whom he was trying to cure. Number 2. Leo Tolstoy Leo Tolstoy is best known for War and Peace and many other books that most people in America have never heard of. However, his name is synonymous with Russian literature and most people simply consider him a worthy classical writer. The truth is, however, that while Tolstoy may have been a brilliantly gifted writer, he was also a vain, selfish, hypocritical man who was definitely insane and tormented himself mentally throughout his life. He was often with prostitutes in his youth, but he eventually got over it and got married. However, even with 13 children, he was not a happy man. He became very religious, creating his own strange brand of Christianity and preaching abstinence and the gifts of worldly things, but he practiced none of them. The story that really showed the world who he was and caused the most discussion was a short story called The Cruiser Sonata. In this short story, a man marries a beautiful young woman and they have several children. For all intents and purposes, it is a perfect marriage. Unfortunately, the husband grows bored with married life and fantasizes about one of their friends coming over to play the piano, usually a piece called a Kreutzer Sonata, and fall in love with his wife and her. He went mad, killed them both, and gave a long monologue to a stranger on the train about sex being evil and women filling a man's heart with lust. Even today it sounds familiar to hear from some very religious people that women are at least partially responsible for men's minds and should cover their bodies to avoid undue temptation. Of course, many believe that the people who preach this are usually men and may have issues with self-control. Number 1. Lyndon B. Johnson Lyndon Baines Johnson, best known for his so-called war on poverty and a popular target of conspiracy theorists, who believe he may have been involved or directly involved in Kennedy's death would ultimately have more to do with the vice president than anyone else and more power than anyone to cover up the investigation. But while most people focus on either the subject or perhaps his decisions during Vietnam, there is little discussion today of just how depraved and abusive President Johnson really was. While President Trump may have made some really bad comments during his visit to the Hollywood Strip, Johnson's escapades involving his. Johnson would be a terrible scandal today, especially given the recent campaign against sexual harassment. The guy openly urinated in the parking lot, hit on co-workers in the bathroom, asked them if they've ever seen anything this big, and then had his assistant stand by the bathroom door and take notes while he defecated, among other things. Thing, he likes to call his mates jumbo without proper etiquette and likes to make excuses or show off to show his alpha male superiority. His physical aggression towards someone was also so incredible that many today would call it aggression and physically reject his achievements. While he may be a hero of the Democratic Party to some today, they may never know or completely forget how sexually harassing, inappropriately perverted, or would not think so highly of him. If you like the video and are interested in the history and other interesting facts, we welcome you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos.